Animal lovers, have you heard about cat cafes, coffee, and cats? It may sound like an unusual combination, but it's actually becoming a trend. These places are so popular, many are taking reservations. So David Highfield actually visited one. He's here now to show us what he found. You didn't bring back a cat. No, I did not bring back a cat, but we did have some fun with this. You know, this all started in Asia, reportedly in Taiwan and Japan, but in the last year, ones have popped up in the U.S., in Portland, San Francisco, Los Angeles, San Diego, also in Denver, Dallas, and New York City. There's one hoping to open later this year in Cincinnati, but we went to the closest one to us, and that is located in Washington, D.C. Welcome to Crumbs and Whiskers, where they serve up coffee, Hi. but also feline companionship. It was the perfect place for 11-year-old Felipe to celebrate his birthday. And what do you think of the cats? Very cool, relaxed, yeah. and cute. <laughs> Both kids and adults have taken to the place since it opened, and most of the cats have taken to them. Although there's always a few who are a little aloof. How you doing? How you doing? You doing okay? The owner says she opened this after visiting a cat cafe in Thailand, and says when people stumble upon her place, they typically have one of two reactions. So it's either like utter excitement or like, what? <laughs> Which is fun. They sell coffee, tea, and cookies, all made off site and delivered. They also have some rules on the wall, like don't wake a sleeping cat, which is always sound advice. That's a lot of fun. You can come in and hang out with cats and just relax and take it easy. Some say commuting with cats can actually help you de stress. And if you really fall in love with a furry new friend, good news all these cats are up for adoption. Everyone's all about dogs, you know, and cats are fantastic. They're here from a rescue, and the cafe is actually just a foster home until they find their forever one. Nearly 60 cats have been adopted so far. And I'm really glad that Crumbs and Whiskers exists. Um, I think Pittsburgh should open their own cafe, their own cat cafe. People love cats, uh, and I think there's a good reason for that. Well, so far, no cat cafes here in Pittsburgh. However, animal advocates in the West End has had one-day cat cafes, and they have another one planned coming up this May as a fundraiser. And we have a link for you at kdk.com. Also, to Crumbs and Whiskers, in case you're headed to Washington, D.C., it is in the Georgetown area, and it was a lot of fun. Come on, kids. We got to see the Capitol and the Washington <laughs> Monument and crumbs and whiskers. That's on the list. Um, so, <laughs> do, were you? This is supposed to de-stress you. You walk into a cafe filled with cats running around. You're supposed to be de-stressed. I think it depends on the type of person you are. I loved cats, so I, I had fun there, even though we were shooting a story. Uh, I will tell you, they make you sign a waiver when you go in that you will not sue them or the cats if the cat scratches oh, you. Interesting. Uh, and, and all the cat cafes that, that I had looked into, they make the food and the coffee at a separate location. Yeah. So there's really sanitary concerns there that they are keeping in mind. But it, everyone there loved it. And I love that it's a way to help place these cats too. Yeah. 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 I could see if you don't have your own pets, it could be relaxing. A nice, right. you know, drop in, enjoy the pet, and don't have to take them home. That's true. You enjoy the <laughs> pet without any of the responsibility. Right. My kind of pet. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, thanks, Dave. Thank sure. you.